And I just added a new section to the video series where I show you how to get a channel monetized very quickly. In fact, I have students reporting they're getting it done and as quickly, quickly as 11 days just using that one section alone. What's going on? So today I have another quick video for you where I'm going to show you two simple steps you can use that's going to dramatically increase the amount of views you're getting. And this concept is something I've used for a long time on my channel and it has helped me grow immensely. In fact, I'm going to show you something really cool. Let's go ahead and go into my analytics. And these are all my videos. You can see right here views. So I've used um, on uh, some of these videos, hundreds of thousands. Now, this is what's cool about this method. Look at this video. It's posted, it was posted in 2018, so three years ago. And let's check out the analytics on this video. We're gonna open it up right here. And you're gonna see right here in real time, it's still getting views. As I'm recording this video, it's getting views. 160 views, in fact, in the last 48 hours. It's still earning me AdSense revenue. It's still bringing me in subscribers. It's still generating watch time. And so again, I posted this video going on three years ago, and it's this method that I'm gonna share with you today that is to thank for this. And, th and this is crucial for growing on YouTube. And so just before we get into this, if you like these short to the point step-by-step -step videos that actually teach you and show you step-by-step -step quick and effective methods for growing on YouTube and that don't waste your time, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out because the faster you learn, the faster you're gonna earn. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this using one of vidIQ's tools. Now if you don't wanna install vidIQ on your YouTube channel or TubeBuddy, that's fine. You can just simply go to Google if you want and search for a free site or a free tool that will help you analyze keywords. But again, the idea is you need to use this. You're at a huge disadvantage to anyone if you're just trying to guess and come up with ideas without actually doing a little research first. And so again, today we're gonna use vidIQ's keyword tool and it's right over here. I'm gonna click on it, keyword inspector. So this is what I do. Rather than just simply coming up with an idea in my head saying, this is gonna work and I'm gonna waste all my time making this video and then have it be a dud, I'm actually gonna do a little research beforehand so I don't waste my time. And I give myself a little bit of an advantage over people that aren't doing this. And so let's say I'm in the gaming niche, which one of my channels is a gaming channel, and in a popular game right now, as I mentioned in my last video, is Resident Evil 8. So let's go ahead and type in Resident Evil 8. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we get. And so what this keyword tool is doing is it's simply taking my keyword, my key phrase, Resident Evil, and it's analyzing it. And it's looking at all sorts of related key phrases and key terms, and it's giving me these statistics. And so what it's telling me here across the top, the things I wanna look at are search volume. So search volume, wow, that's great. 6.9 million searches for Resident Evil 8 for the past 30 days, that's great. But the problem is competition is high. So there's a lot of people posting content just for Resident Evil 8. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on competition. And so now it's listing in order, very low level of competition. But as you can see, the search volume isn't there. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down until I get a nice happy medium of low competition and not bad search volume. And so I can look through this as much as I want and get which where I feel comfortable in terms of how much competition I want versus what I think a good search volume is. So let's just say here, let's say I'm, I'm good here. Let's try this, low competition. 36,638 in search volume, so that's really good. And it is for Resident Evil Village Trailer Reaction. So now rather than just make up something and hope it works, I have a good chance at doing well because again, low competition, good search volume, if I did a Resident Evil Village Trailer Reaction on my gaming channel. So that's step one. You're gonna identify a topic that you are likely to do well with. Step number two, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Now I scroll back up here and look over to the right, top trending videos, top 10 trending videos. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this. I'm gonna show all 10. And now what I wanna do, I already have the topic in mind. I wanna analyze what these thumbnails look like. So now that I've identified the video I wanna put out, I wanna make sure that when I do so, it's gonna get clicked on. And one of the best ways to know that is by analyzing the top performing videos because those are likely getting clicked on. That's why they're the top performing because they have great click-through rates. And so I'm just gonna check out their thumbnails and see if I can learn anything from this. So the very the very first one, we have one of the main characters of Resident Evil, and it is 
Lady Dimitrescu. So let's go to the next thumbnail. Oh, I can see her again. Same thing, the thumbnail has Lady Dimitrescu in it. Here's another one, Lady Dimitrescu. And notice these ones are very similar, similar uh, picture. So it's probably from the same point in the game or in one of the cutscenes. A nice close up of her face, this one, and this one both have the creator, the YouTube creator themselves, actually showing the reaction to the gameplay. So now I'm learning, okay, so far three for three, Lady Demiscus in the thumbnail. Two out of the three, the creator has an image of themselves in the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and look a little bit more. Looks like Lady Demiscus is in there. The creator is there, creator there, some other character. Lady Demiscu and the creator again. So now I have a great topic and I have a great idea of what elements to include in my thumbnail to get a good click-through rate. The other thing I can do using this tool is I can click on this and see the tags that are used in, for these videos. And so I can analyze these tags. I can even come up here and view this video on YouTube. I can pause it. I can look at the description they have. I can actually copy their tags to a clipboard and then use them in my video. So again, all of this through using free extensions like vidIQ, but again, the idea to start with is to use some type of tool, even if it's not you know, vidIQ or TubeBuddy, to analyze the search volumes and competition levels and come up with ideas that you are much more likely to be successful with right off the start, instead of just making it up and hoping that you're gonna do well. So if you like learning concepts like this and you just want to learn all of them and supercharge the growth of your channel, get all my personal methods, tools, and strategies for growing channels quickly, becoming a YouTube partner, earning AdSense revenue, even monetizing your channels for additional automated income like I do, check out the link in the description to my video series where you can watch over my shoulder, copy me, and set this up for yourself. And if you do come over here and check out where the course is and you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see where YouTubers that are enrolled are simply sharing the results the video series is getting for them right here. And I just added a new section to the video series where I show you how to get a channel monetized very quickly. In fact, I have students reporting they're getting it done and as quickly, quickly as 11 days just using that one section alone. So give this method a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below with that. I'm gonna wrap this video up and I will see you in the next.